Hey gang, welcome to another episode of the Rotator Cup Expert. You know who I am, and today we're gonna to talk about stretching. There's three stretches you should be doing to, to protect your shoulder and to make your shoulder healthy. Now these shoulder stretches are not for people who have a recent rotator cuff repair or shoulder surgery. This is, these stretches are not for you, at least not immediately for you. These stretches are not for someone who just had a severe injury to the shoulder. These stretches are for people who have some tightness, maybe a little bit of stiffness and soreness in the shoulder and trying to get that range of motion back or, or maintain that range of motion that they have. The three stretches are important because they stretch different parts of the shoulder. Now the shoulder is composed of a, a bunch of things, right? There's ligaments, which are the stuff that kind of hold the, the, the joint together. There's um, the capsule, which is the line of the joint, and that can get stiff. So ligaments can get, can get stiff, capsule can get stiff, and then lastly, the muscles. The muscles can get stiff too. So we're stretching all those things. We're not just stretching our muscles. And the key thing with these stretches, we wanna do three sets of 10 repetitions, like kind of in a circuit, so to speak, holding for 10 seconds. And when you're holding for those 10 seconds, you wanna feel that stretch. You don't wanna feel like, it can hardly stand it. We don't, that stretch actually contracts the muscles and prevents us from actually getting a good stretch. So we just wanna to get to a place where we can get that muscle, get the capsule, um, get, get the uh, ligaments to be, to be on stretch, but not so much tension on them that those muscles contract because they think it's getting, they're getting hurt and they're gonna re resist that flexion or that stretching. So key important, you just go to a point of feeling that stretch and just lean into the stretch and relax, nice deep breaths. It should, again, this should not be painful. This should not be difficult. And you're not gonna see a lot of progress for a while, but it's important for us. If we wanna have healthy shoulders going forward, we wanna make sure we take the time to do the stretching before we do actually our workout too. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna warm up the muscles a little bit, warm up the joint a little bit. We don't wanna stretch cold. And so there's a few ways to do that, right? You can just do little circles like this, right? To warm up, we'll go forward, I guess this is backwards. And then forward, right? And we want to make sure we do both arms, both arms, and then we go backwards and do that, you know, maybe a few minutes, just kind of get the shoulder stretch. I don't know if you can tell, but this shoulder of mine is stiffer and more sore. I have a little rotator cuff injury that I'm trying to, strangely enough, not have surgery on. So the other thing you can do is you can do this kind of forward, fl forward flexion. That'll help work those muscles, get those muscles a little bit warm too. So we do that, you know, maybe two, three minutes to get the blood flowing. Okay, and now these are the three stretches. Again, the three stretches, these three stretches are not for people who are injured. These three stretches are not for people who have just had surgery. These are stretches for people who are trying to maintain or regain some of that, that flexibility back, okay? So the first stretch you do against the wall, you go forward and you push your armpit into the wall and then you hold it there. You hold it there for a count of 10, just like we talked about, and then we relax. And obviously we have to do it the other side. Armpit into the wall, hold it for a count of 10, and relax. So that's stretch number one. What I like to do is I like to do these stretches one after another after another, and then do a round over and over again for that, for that total of 10 repetitions. So the next one is crossover, right? So we're crossing over, we're stretching a, a slightly different part of the shoulder muscles and different part of the shoulder capsule and ligament, right? And then we, again, make sure we do the other side. And again, we're holding that, we're feeling that stretch. We're not getting too into it, right? We're not being too uncomfortable. We're just feeling that stretch and actually should feel good. And then lastly, this is the one that I have difficulty with because I'm not a flexible person. Elbow, and then you can take your other hand and bring it down. You want to get around behind your head, down, down your back. So that hold that there. And then again, the other one and down. And you can maybe see that this actually, this shoulder is a little bit more flexible. And it's weird because this is the shoulder that's injured. There's flexibility and there's injury. They don't necessarily go together. So I think that if you can do, so that would be one circuit. So do the circuit 10 times, that'll be good. And then you'll be ready to do your shoulder workout. Perhaps in the future, if you're interested, we'll go through what I think is a good shoulder workout to hit the important parts of your shoulder without, without putting your shoulder in danger. But anyway, hope this helps. Three stretches. Please like, please subscribe. Please add comments. I would love to hear from you. Thanks.